here introducing my 1983 Austin Mini. This is the OG Mini, not the new, like, super-sized Mini. Um, Nigel D'Amico, so a little throwback to its English roots. It came from, I forget the name of the town in England now, um, but it was right there on the coast of the river. So, um, just picked this up a few months ago and I'm finally introducing it. It's finally up and running. Um, <coughs> the D'Amico is a throwback to my Italian roots, so, or Sicilian to be more specific. Um, it was originally red, which is the Austin convenience, which they call it now. I like the green uh, myself, even though red is my favorite color. It is a right-hand drive, so I initially thought that it was going to be a huge challenge to shift with my left hand. I'm a right hand, right-handed, so it's actually really easy to shift with the left hand. It's only got four speeds, so I mean, it's not like you're going anywhere super fast, although. It does feel super fast, so it does have a um, nice low-end torque, so you can really kind of get out there and, and move. This is the second time I've driven it, so just trying to get used to driving it, and I'm using a lot of filler words from our Apple, the Apple practice <laughs> on speeches and talking. There you go. So I am recognizing those filler words. This is the little baby trunk. It's tiny. Actually, though, if it didn't have all this junk that it has in here, I could fit my groceries in the boot, bonnet, boot, boot, in my boot. The bonnet, the front end. And it's got the original tag. And A to B Autos is where Nigel D'Amico came from. It's been in the state seven, eight years now. Um, I don't know if they actually had it registered, but obviously it didn't pass MOT there, so they shipped it over here to its next owner, and now it's at its forever home. So, my son got to ride in it today, thinking he was going to be driving it because he got in the driver's seat initially, which is now the passenger seat is on the right hand, or left hand side, so kind of weird being a passenger thinking you're going to drive. Um, I learned I don't have to slam the doors because they're really super light. And let me see if I can mangle open in this hood. There we go. It's like a two-step process. It's not like you're, well, I guess it is kind of like the other cars, but let me open it. Um, but the release is actually in the bonnet and not inside the car. So this is a makeshift <laughs> cap from Dollar Tree <laughs> because many parts aren't easy to find. And uh, yeah, so got the American alternator on it and a brand new radiator that it came with and a brand new carburetor, actually a rebuilt carburetor and air filter. So it looks nice and clean. We need to polish the block. It's everything, like the valve cover is so clean. And then you look at the block, but it's driven. <laughs> and it's going to be well loved. It's got a new coil on it too. Um, and new spark plugs too. Um, the hood is actually not that light. If you really want to know, I need to clip in. There we go. So. You can see it was originally red. My 66 Mustang was red until we painted it to be not OG color. I've got new gauges too. A fuel pressure gauge. And yes, my gas gauge works and the speedometer is four miles too fast per hour. So now I get to think I'm going faster than I really am. But it feels super fast that even at like 55 miles an hour, you're like flying down the road. I do have to learn how to pass though, because obviously I'm on the wrong side of the car. Or the right side of the car, depending on where you're at. Um, so yeah, it's got 13 inch wheels. Instead of 10. Imagine like little 10 inch wheels, like little baby wheels. 
13 is still like super tiny. If you roll in like an Impala with switches on and hydraulics, then yeah, that's the standard. But like 13 inch wheels, um, they're tiny. <laughs> like that's so weird, but it's a tiny car. Like this car is small. It was parked almost next to the newer Mini yesterday. And it's just that those new Minis are monstrous compared to the original Mini. So this is Nigel D'Amico. Um, oh yeah, I got my rust rack. And no, it's not going to be like my my 69 square foot Penelope loaded with stuff on it. The rust rack is pretty, it's clean, and it fits. The, the temptation to put a, a rag top in it is sort of kind of real, but I don't want to cut into the roof, so I kind of want to leave it as it came for the most part. It did not come with the fender flares. But the fender flares make the car. And let me tell you, my little lights in the front are like, are they on? They're not on. Hold on. They're like massively bright, <laughs> even during the day. Like you can lose your eyesight. <laughs> it's not like the little Volkswagen turn signals on it. <laughs> so that's Michael Zemiko. Um, the guy we got it from actually had the pinstripe put on it, which is really cool. So by the gas cap it says little booger. I'm not sure what that meant to them, but it's pinstripe on. So part of getting these old cars is leaving some of the old stuff that the previous owners had on it it just brings character to it and like history to it i actually went on and pulled up a picture of this shop online i thought about calling them and sending them some pictures of the car and then it's pretty cool because it's got the little locking gas cap everything has a key so yeah that's nigel D'Amico. my latest like I needed another car, but I didn't need another car, but I needed another car. <laughs> so, cheers, adios, arrivederci, I'm out. <laughs>